what's up everyone welcome to my channel with another video with mp power today's video is going to be why you should not buy a mini cooper under the year of 2013 stay tuned i'll go ahead and tell you guys why also candy she wants probably to say something candy you want to tell them to subscribe or candy you want to probably say something to them to watch the whole video and probably like subscribe what do you think? Okay, you wanna tell them to subscribe? Just came from the mechanic picking up the car and also I washed it because it was super dirty as you guys can see in the beginning I took it for a quick wash but let's go ahead and tell you guys what happened exactly to me in particular this car which is a Mini Cooper just basic one 2010 it has right now close to 54,000 miles but it's just really a bad car I don't recommend buying you a car like this but anyway if you decide to buy one of that also I make sure you make sure you buy two keys because this key it's really fragile and this ring as you guys can see if this breaks good luck with that if you have one key because it's not gonna work the car what happened to me I dropped it this one day by mistake and I got lucky to save this uh, ring and I glued together so it works now but if you get stuck good luck with that who knows how much it will cost but anyway let me take you guys a quick walk around how the car now it's back to life should be fine for another the mechanic at least what told me another 50,000 uh, miles but I don't believe that and I cannot wait to get rid of this car because I'm so disappointed and so tired of this more changing one thing after another and it's so expensive this car and it's just not worth it for what you pay to but let's go ahead and take you guys now when it's fixed quick around a uh, walk around to you to show you guys how it looks and we'll go ahead and uh, tell you guys uh, exactly what happened to this car Another thing, when you guys pick up the car from the mechanic, make sure you're not in a hurry like myself because what happened to me, I got a, someone hit my bumper, also the hood, it's a little bit like a crooked, so very disappointed with my mechanic, it was my first time working with him, definitely not going back anymore, but anyway, so make sure you check uh, uh, your car, the way you leave it and when you pick up, make sure it's the way you left it too as well and make sure you got everything in the car too because sometimes things can be missing too as well let me go ahead and open the hood for you guys all right as you guys can see right now the engine looks good now it's back to life i spent about 2500 just to fix the car to bring it alive but anyway the problem is with this car and especially when i buy i thought i'm getting a good deal but those cars uh, they tend to melt the insides, the plastic and things inside the engine too. So they start to melt so and the engine gives up. In this car, three cylinder broke down. So I make the deal with a, a mechanic to fix it. When I got home, he gave me a call and he said, unfortunately, this engine cannot be saved. You need to be replaced and that'll cost probably $5,000. So make sure to prevent that. If you're buying a car, at least uh, uh, under 2013 because most likely you can end up finding some problems with that even if it's a very low mileage, it's just like this one too so uh, this one um, uh, should be fine for probably like 20 30,000 miles at least but who knows it broke one so can happen again too but as you guys can see the the engine now looks pretty good pretty clean all this piece it's been changed as you guys can see the car it's pretty clean inside and out too as well they're like scratches kind of all over the the car but anyway I can 
definitely now wait to get rid of this car because I'm super disappointed. And this car is super slow too, it doesn't really go anywhere. It has a sport, bu a sport button to put to, to press inside there, but literally doesn't go nowhere too. I'll be showing you guys right in a moment to, to demonstrate which this car doesn't go anywhere even if you put the sport, you press that sport button too, which for me, I don't see any different. But anyway, just open the hood, the ring on the headlight uh, unfortunately uh, came down so I have to fix this thing glue it and put it together again so what can we do things happen so that's why make sure you guys when you pick up the car make sure it's in one piece again because who knows how these mechanics should all right we we'll jump in the car right now let's go ahead and just show you guys just so you can have an idea this is non turbo and also the turbo ones they're even more expensive if anything breaks on this one too so this one it's not non turbo so it's definitely a slow car but anyway let me sh uh, demonstrate you guys how really slow is this car but let's put the key <laughs> All right, let's put the seatbelt. And let's go ahead for a quick drive, just so you can see. Because this car is definitely not worth it to spend any money for this car. But anyway, let's go ahead and drive. And let's go ahead. We're gonna go right now, like uh, um, in a quick, quick road, just to show you guys in a straight line, so you can have an idea how slow this car it is, not how fast, how slow it is. And anyway, just also, it's not like a car for guys too, so I cannot really wait to get rid of this car. Anyway, maybe it's like definitely a girly car. It's like a city car. It's easy. Also, not so bad on gas too, but. Uh, Definitely not a fun car this way. Definitely not. All right. Right now it's without the the spark boot button. So let me show you guys. Let's floor it right now. It's that's it. See how slow it is. Super slow. Probably like to go to like. Uh, uh, 40 to 60 miles it might take like 10 seconds this car so who knows let's stop and test drive it with a sport mode too I'll show you guys right in a moment here you got the sport mode let's hit that you can see it's green and let's go ahead and see what it does 0 to 60 with a sport mode I mean, it definitely have a small punch on that, but it's definitely nothing like to say like, wow, it's definitely not. But anyway, um, as you can see, this brake light, unfortunately I have to change the brakes so that light is on. Probably I'll make another video to show you guys how it's easy and probably you can save some money on that. But um, um, this will be definitely a separate video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found something informative. You guys leave in any comments down below, wherever you think, or if you had any good or bad experience with your Mini Cooper, let me know. And uh, I don't know, I'll probably tell you guys even more on something like on this, what happened, but or if I forgot anything to mention on that, you guys let me know. But anyway, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next. Peace, everyone.